This is a Sunseeker 75 yacht. It's a 2017 example. And normally when I come to these boats, I have a pretty good idea what to expect. But every now and again, I come across a boat that just makes me go, wow. And this, I think, is one of those boats. I'm going to take you on board and do the full tour and explain to you exactly why. Now, this, of course, is every area. We're going into the cabins, the decks, the crew cabin, the engine room, the lot. Let's go. Now we board as usual via this high-low bathing platform. This of course will take a tender or a rib. And that door there is access to the crew cabin, so we will look at that of course towards the end. But we're going to head on board first of all. There is a passerelle letterbox style that comes out of here, so if you're stern to berth in the med, that gives you access. But we're going to start on the inside because that is the bit that made me go wow. So we'll have a quick look at the cockpit, which is protected by this big overhang. And then we'll head on in. And here we go. Now this one's got the high gloss walnut. And that really works on these boats. I love the lighting detail they put into the ceiling as well. But the high gloss, it really gives it a feeling of quality. And I don't know, depth somehow. Looks really nice. This is a really social area here in the saloon. It's not a galley aft layout, as you've obviously noticed. And I think that actually is quite nice because it connects the cockpit and the saloon as one big social area. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. However, the galley is on this deck. It's just up here on the port side. This is one of those boats that sits right on the cusp of owner or crew operation. So it would be a very comfortable boat to own and manage, but it's also big enough to take a crew. So you can run this however you want. And this is the galley area. And so there's a big fridge, of course, as you'd expect, and there's a freezer underneath. You've got your hob and your oven down here at the end. For a 2017 boat, this is immaculate. This, of course, is all storage along in places like this. And you've also got some nice sunseeker details, like the way they've done these cutlery drawers. And of course there's a dishwasher in here as well. And directly opposite this then is your dining area and that seats eight people. It'll sleep eight as well so that is the perfect size for this boat. And then ahead of that of course is the helm position. Now, there's a side access door on here. This is a little bar area and up ahead is the helm with these beautiful chunky leather Sunseeker seats. We'll really set this area off and the helm up ahead. It's quite a well equipped boat this one so it's got things like hydraulic bow and stern thrusters rather than electric. This is the autopilot control over here. You've got twin Simrad screens that can display charts or radar or engine instrumentation as we've got on this one. And those are touch screens, but they're also controlled from this fellow here. And the other thing we have on here is a stabilisation system. It's actually got fin stabilisers. I don't know how clearly you can see that. But this is nice as well. This is a management system for the boat. So you can choose on here, for example, tanks. We can hit that one and you can see instantly fuel tank, fresh water tank, a waste tank for the toilets, showers and so on. Or we can choose an overview. So all the information on the running of the boat, it's all here. Very nicely done. And this I like, this little snug, separate little area. Imagine coming here for a drink of an evening, it's separate from the rest of the accommodation. Somewhere to tuck yourself away with, of course, a good book. And then we have the stairway. Now again, a lot of classic Sunseeker detailing and things like these stainless steel areas. And you can see it here as well, all the way around. It just adds a bit of depth and interest. And that makes that quite a nice sort of occasion as you come down to the lower deck. The mirror ahead of you here. And if you must, it gives yourself a little wave. And we're going to head to the front, I think, and work our way back. This accommodation is really nice in here. So. VIP guest cabin up in the bow. Again, that gloss walnut, I think that just looks fabulous. There's a hatch up above, so that's giving you a bit of ventilation 
or another way out of this level. And then of course this is all storage around the outsides. And there's a, a big wardrobe. More storage here. And a nice little dressing table. Like so. And as you'd expect, you've got AV equipment in here, but look at the size of this TV. For a guest cabin, usually you get a little tiny one, but they've put a proper full size one into here. This has its own ensuite. And again, beautifully done. Separate shower stall, of course. As we head on back down the boat then, there's day heads on this side. And again, separate shower. And then directly behind that is cabin three. I think what strikes me most about this boat is there's just no sense of compromise anywhere. So this has a door through to the day heads, so at night this is en suite, and what that does is it means that every cabin has its own en suite. Again, masses of storage in places like this. And a decent view out the window, in fact, there's a little boat going past, let's have a look. We are in Sultan's Marina at the moment, that's just heading for the fuel berth. Excellent. What a great cabin this. And then we head across the boat, we will discover cabin four. Singles in here, but again, no bunk beds or anything like that. It's all proper full-size beds, proper full-size cabin. Loads of headroom as you come through here. Look at this. This is what I mean about the whole no compromise ethos. It's brilliant. And as I mentioned, each one has its own ensuite. separate shower stall. And look at where they've quartered these doors. Finish on here. Exquisite. And that just leaves us the best till last, the master cabin. Check this out. How nice is that? Let's close that one over. And then we can get the full impression of the size of this. That is a lovely cabin. 55 inch TV on the wall, sound bar up above it, loads of storage down this side. Again, those big hull windows for that view. Love the way they finished this on the back really like these lights that they've put in. Detailing, everywhere detailing. Look at these fillets in the ceiling. Just gives it that beautiful sort of three-dimensional feel. Really taken with this boat. Dressing table on this side, like so. A chalon. Have I pronounced that right? I think so. Chalon. And then down here, this slides. And that actually gives you a walk-in wardrobe. And there's drawers underneath as well. And opposite this then is the ensuite to this cabin. And as you'd expect, of course, really nice size. Huge shower at the far end. And you lose in here. This is all storage in behind. Tower rails up here. Again, it's no compromise. It's real. It's got like a super yacht vibe to it. It's not quite super yacht size, not far off, but it's definitely a super yacht feel. Awesome. Let's go and check out the decks. Actually, I'll just mention as we go past as well, but I didn't show them to you. 
that is the switch panel. So your 24 volt systems for the boat, your domestic systems, 24 volt. And then this is all your 230 volt systems. So air conditioning, that kind of stuff. That's driven either by shore power, which is what we're on at the moment, or there's generators on the boat as well, which of course I will show you. And underneath that, you've just got storage for towels and other bits and pieces. Okay, let's head on up. This staircase I think is fantastic, coming up here in the morning. As I say, it just gives a bit of a feeling of a bit of an event. And out into this area. How lovely is that? Cool, let's go and take a look around the outside. So, shoes on. Again, you've got that sort of slight super yacht feel with these high bulwarks as you walk around and this overhang here. And I don't know whether you can see them, but these are all lit all the way along. So this whole boat is lit up at night. And then right at the front here, seating, big sun pads up at the front. And they've not forgotten the practical details, so you've got these lockers built in for your fenders and lines and that sort of stuff to the front, your anchor handling kit, and that's a searchlight right up there on the back. You can see these lights again down the side. Now every time I point out these lights, people put in the comments, have you got a video of a boat all lit up at night? And the answer is yes. If you search aquaponic illumination, you'll find it. There's a full walk around of a completely illuminated Flybridge cruiser at night. Worth taking a look at these little details like this. Sunseeker yacht sign on the side. Okay, to access the flybridge, we're over here. Again, this is all illuminated all the way up. So at night it all looks brilliant. And look at the lighting down underneath all of these. So you just get a wonderful low level glow. And in fact, because they've sort of scoured these back under, it almost looks like the seating's floating on here. That's a really nice effect. Let's go right to the back you can get an impression of the size from here. As you can see, it's got the hard top on it. And above that then, that's a radar reflector, that's the radar, navigation lights, antennas and so on, all up on top. There's a big seating area up here. And this table is either this size for dining or you can actually fold it away. Obviously, same on the other side. So you can make that much smaller table if you're just having a drink up here of an evening. There's a bar area up here, so there's a little sink. There's a fridge. This one is the ice maker. And of course you've got your grill up here as well. People often ask about these metal things here. Sometimes they're in mirrors, sometimes they're a stainless steel plate. The reason for that is, imagine that's really red hot and someone comes and closes it down. It protects the GRP. And that there is so that if it's left switched on and someone closes it down, that cuts it off. So it's a safety cutout. Another fridge just there. Very nice. Another seating area up next to the helm. That's lovely. This hard top has got a big opening section. So all of this here is a canvas electric section that will power back. So you can have this completely open to the sunshine if you want to helm is over on this side. Lift bolster seats which is great because when you're maneuvering it's great to be able to stand in the helm and your view then is right down across the bow, right down the side of the boat and you can even look down through there and you can see the back end of the boat as you're maneuvering it so that's a great feature. Your navigation instrumentation that's all repeated up here of course and then up at the front you've got your sun beds. And that's terrific when you're going along people can lie out here they can put their back against here great view chat to the hounds on and you have some shelter from this screen around the front lovely place to sit when you're underway excellent let's carry on down and we'll take in the crew cabin and the engine space so you've got access to the bathing platform on both sides. You can go down there when that wicker basket's not in the way, or we can go down this side. I didn't mention this as we came in. This is just, again, an outside fridge for your champagne. 
and a bit of storage underneath. And even here, look at the way they've put the lighting switches into the stainless steel plate that's engraved with what they are. Details, everywhere details. Stern handling winches, so if your stern to in the med you can put a rope around there and winch yourself into the key. And even a little locker so you can drop your lines once you've pulled yourself in, out of the way. Let's head on down. Now these along here, these are storage, so there's a little clip on the side, that opens up, but they're really deep. So you could probably even get like a sea bob in there, or water skis for example, if you want those for your tender. Great place for canopies as well, of course. Which in fact are in here. Very useful feature. Boat hook clipped away, easy to get to. That's nice. And again, it comes back to the practical ethos. They're not just a show pony, they're a proper boater's boat. And then this door, this takes us down to the crew cabin. Now I mentioned that a lot of these boats are owner operated. And the reason I mentioned that here is because this would actually make a perfectly good fifth cabin for guests because it's the same quality of finish. It's got the high gloss woodwork. It's all nicely trimmed. You've got big windows in here, plenty of lighting, air conditioning, a little desk at this end and then two big berths. So whether you're crew or whether you've got a couple of extra guests, this works either way. Let's go right on down to this end. You can see what a great size this is. That's a proper cabin. And again, masses of headroom. There's TV in here. There's an AV system as well. That's this fusion system in behind here. Yeah, I'd have no problem at all putting guests in here if you needed a bit of overflow. And the other thing that you find in here is the laundry facilities, so a dryer and the washing machine. And again, big hanging locker and that kind of stuff. And of course, en suite, look at the way they've, all the doors on this are quartered. So you've got these panels really beautifully finished and they haven't skimped even in here. It is guest cabin standard all the way through and that is your ensuite to this cabin so storage up in behind here and again beautifully finished and your shower is on that side that for a 75 foot boat lovely let's go and look at the engines so back up these steps, this is the air conditioning outlet for that cabin. This is the shore power cable across here. So we're plugged into the marina and that's giving 230 volt power. If you're out at sea you can run the generators and get it that way of course. And our access to the engines is under the floor here. Now I mentioned every last detail and it's a silly thing but how often do you see a handrail on the ladder down into the engine room? Not often. So what we've got in here, well engines of course are the most important things. These are a pair of MAN 1550 engines, they're B12s, big motors. And these are giving about 33 knots flat out, which is fast for a 75 foot boat cruising, I guess you're in the 20, 25 knot area, somewhere around there. And at cruising speeds, you've got about 450 miles of range, which is pretty big, actually. It's further than most of these boats of this style go at high speed. Obviously, as ever, drop speed right back, and you'll get further, but that's its planing range. Hot water cylinders that tucked away up on the ceiling, out of the way. You've got electronics on the front. These are the fuel tanks, that's what gives it the big range. And there are two generators in here, so there's one on this side, and then there's another one over there, so you've got backup and redundancy. These are all the air conditioning units, neatly tucked away here. And this is the side power thruster system, so this is the hydraulics for your bow and stern thrusters, so you've got a manual backup down here as well. Come right back here because that is an excellent engine room. 
That's what I mentioned earlier. No compromise, even in terms of headroom. Look at that again. It's massive. Just feels such a big boat. Proper super yacht vibe everywhere. Let's head on back up. And we'll finish off in the saloon to say thank you to Sunseeker Pool who organised that tour. That is a boat with real wow factor. I'll put a link to those guys in the description so if you're interested in that you can give them a shout. Let me know what you think of that one in the comments and as ever if you've not subscribed do me a favour hit that little bell hit the button help the channel and it'll help you see new videos coming each time they're uploaded. Thanks very much for watching catch you on the next one. Take care bye bye.